BCC Online Events. BCC Sunday Premiere every 9.30 a.m. BCC Kids Church Sundays at 1 p.m. Youth Reload Online Fridays at 8.45 p.m. BCC Yapis Saturdays at 6.30 p.m. BCC Synchronized Prayer Daily at 8 p.m. Don't forget to follow our social media accounts. On Facebook, Buhangin Community Church, Youth Reload PH, and BCC Yapis. You can also check our Instagram accounts at BCC Davao Official, Youth Reload, and BCC Yapis. You may also follow our Twitter account at BCC Davao Official and Youth Reload. You can also listen to our podcast on Spotify at Luhanin Community Church and BCC Yapis. For more concerns, you may call us at 221-5344 and email us at bccvision12 at gmail.com. Good morning, BCC family. We are all created to host the presence of God and to be vessels of His glory. So let us get ready to receive the ministry of God's Word. And why don't we tag our friends in the comment section below, send them a private message, or invite them by posting this link on your timeline so that, like you and me, they can also be vessels of God's presence and God's Word. what we have to remain true to the Lord that means in our character and also in our deeds. This is very serious. Ang mga relationship sa Ginoo, atong relationship sa Ginoo is very serious. Kani nga kini nga season sa tong kinabuhi na ani accomplish purpose pohon. Og ma-accomplish lang ang purpose na akong ginastorya sa inyo karong gabi if you possess that no matter what mentality and attitude. As we all know that when we are being tested, the Lord is just sharpening us, He is just refining us, He is just filtering us because He is about to do a very powerful story out of our lives.
ruling by the authority of the Lord Jesus, meaning to say, this is what the Lord Jesus would want for you to become. That you will not stagnate in your walk. That you will not settle down in what you have achieved as a follower. But you keep on pressing. You keep on moving forward. More and more. Remember this. In the walk with the Lord, we are not supposed to settle down for what we have already received.
kaday kung sa way katapusan na angay hangay yun ka Lord. everyone, I am Shane and together with uh, Billboards and Atijen, we are from PCC Kinabawan Satellite and together let us all pray. 
this. Father, we thank you, Lord. We bless your name, Jesus. Salamat po for this opportunity, oh God. Yes. We may know, God, that ikaw ginoong ka-intercede sa mga Father. Yes. Yes. Salamat kayo, Lord God, for the nation of Israel, Lord. Salamat kayo, yes. Lord God, for the patayan, Lord God. Mag-sustain, mag-preserve sa ilaw, God. We declare your peace, oh God. Yes. Pandem, yes. Salamat, Lord God. We pray Lord, that your blood will be shed sa nation of Israel, you know, ikaw ginoong ka-protecta sa ilaw, Father. But this way, yes. what, what is happening, you know, God, sa ilaw, ang maso ginoong, ikaw ginoong mag- uh, at ang kamayuhan, Father, we thank you, Lord, at marayang kaginoon mga sustain, O oh God. Salamat, Lord, sa mga Messianic Jews, you know. Salamat, yes. Father, we pray that you will empower them, O oh God, with your spirit, yes. O oh God. Salamat, yes. Lord, na ikaw ginoon mga tagad conviction na pandem, you know. Yes. Kaginoon, patayan, you know, silang isuglan, O oh God. Salamat, yes. Lord, na pinangi silang kinabuhi, Lord God. We pray you know, that the revival will happen, you know, in Israel. Yes. Salamat, yes. Father, you know, sa mga Orthodox Jews, O oh God. We pray, you know, yes. we declare, God, at Lord, may enlighten sila, O oh God, ma- ma- bukay ng mga mata, you know, God. But they will see, O oh God, that you are the God, the only one true God, you know, God. You are yes. the way, the truth, and the life, you know, God. And salamat kay Father, sa tanan, O God, ang ginatag, you know, sa Israel, Father, we declare, you know, victory upon them, you know, God. Yes. Salamat kay Lord, we speak, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. Salamat kay, you know, even, O oh God, sa mga uh, neighboring countries, you know, God, sa mga Arab yes. countries, Lord. We pray for them, O oh God. We pray also for them, O oh God. We pray for peace. O God, uh, salamat talaga sa reconciliation, you know, God, na may tabu, yes. God, declare, O God, sila, you know, God, na may pagkahiusa sila, Father, and we speak, O God, also yes. revival, O God, at the reveal, send your people, O God, that na willing and available, you know, God, na yes. minister, God, sa matagos sa mga uh, nations, O God, salamat kay Father, and ikaw, you know, magapatayan, O God, uh, magatag revival, O God, sa matagos sa mga nations, O God, salamat kay Lord God, parayan, you know, magatag, O God, you know, God, and ginalipak naman sila sa mga Father, Salamat kay Father also for the Philippines, Lord. We pray, God, for our nation, oh God. Salamat kay Lord for uh, our President of Diglo Duterte, you know, God. We pray for wisdom coming from you, oh God. So, you know, God, implement it, you know, God, sa mong naso, you know, God. Na ikaw, you know, ang magbatungag ito, God. Salamat kay Father, at ang ihanin mo sa revelation, oh God. Sa ginaw, you know, God, magpunayan, oh God, ang service, you know, God. We thank you, Lord, for all the government officials, you know, God. Ikan sa pinakataas, ikan sa pinakaubos, you know, we pray, you know, God, for righteous leadership, you know, God, in the name of Jesus. So, salamat kayo, you know, kasi lagi, you know, may maging leader na mo, God, to be more, you know, God, na ma-improve, you know, ang Philippines. We declare more of you, God, in the Philippines. So, salamat sa revival, you know, God, even sa mga churches, oh God, or sa mga ministries, you know, God, na yung ibang sabis, oh God. We pray, we declare that ikaw mag-enlighten sila, Father, that they will never lose hope, oh God. They will continue praying, oh God, for revival, oh God, sa mga nasa, you know. Salamat, you know, sa Luzon, sa Visayas, at sa Mindanao, you know, we declare, God, blessings, oh God, in Jesus' name, oh God, that you will open your, ah, Windows of uh, blessings, you know, God, sa matagos sa ginawa ng mga lugar, you know, God. Yes. When I will pray that lagan pa ginawa, God, ang makadungog uh, siyong pulong sa Pilipinas. Yes. So, salamat yes. ni you know, for Davao City, Lord God. We pray, you know, for uh, the mayor, Lord God, and the Sarah Duterte, you know, Lord God. Salamat yes. ni Father. We declare, you know, God, righteous leadership, oh God. And Lord, we speak, oh God, blessings, oh God, sa Davao City, Lord. Salamat yes. ginawa sa mga kahit suunan tala, you know, ikaw ginawa mag-preserve sa ilaw, God. We pray, you know, ang fire, God, basta ito mo ginawa mag-kalayo dito, oh God. Magadilaag, O God, in Jesus' name. Lord. Salamat kay Father, we declare more of you, God. We speak more of you, God. Ginalip up ng mga mga lugar kanino, Father. Kabalong, yes. ay ikaw, you know, nagapagmuhat, O God. You are doing something, you know, O God. Kabalong, you know, O God, na ginagimo, 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 para sa mga Father, for our uh, own good. You know. Salamat kay Jesus. We love you, Lord. Hallelujah, God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Father, Salamat we continue Lord. to pray, O God. We bless all the house churches, Lord, yeah, that you have uh, established, Lord. We pray for more family yes. that will be won over, O oh God, in your presence. And we pray, Lord, that uh, all the house churches and families, Lord God, will reach out more uh, people, or yes. raise up leaders, O oh God, through their house churches, and they will uh, saturate their communities, O oh God, yes. through your presence, Holy Spirit. Lord, we declare that uh, more and more, more, um, expansion, extension yes, of house Lord. churches, O oh God. Yes, yes. And we declare that all the house church leaders, Lord God, will rise up, will not uh, slumber, O oh God, but all the more will be used by you yes. through your presence, Holy Spirit. Lord, we also pray for the life groups, O oh yes, God. Lord. We pray for uh, preservation and sanctification, O oh God, and for all the Life group leaders, Lord, thank you for the strength yes. and the joy yes. to serve you and serve the people, Lord God, that you have entrusted to them. Yes. And uh, we pray, Lord, that uh, uh, they will establish their uh, team of 12 yes. and they will reach out more people, multitudes, oh God, 
through these uh, small groups, oh God. And we also pray, Father, for the satellite ministries. We pray that uh, all the more uh, each town, oh God, that uh, uh, we are representing, Lord, we will continue to uh, establish, oh God, your uh, ministry, oh God, that you have entrusted to us. We pray, Lord, that more satellite leaders, Lord God, that will uh, rise up and uh, we declare that uh, they will reach out their neighboring cities and neighboring towns, oh God, even barangays, Lord, uh, will be planted by uh, these leaders, Lord God, that you are, that you are raising up. Uh, we declare, Lord, that uh, uh, more people will uh, connect, oh God, through these uh, satellite ministries and uh, will rise up as leaders and even appointed, Lord God, as government uh, leaders in their towns, oh God, barangays, in their province, oh God, through this uh, ministry, Lord God, that you are uh, putting up, oh God. We bless, oh God, these uh, satellites and satellite pastors, oh God, and we lift them up in your presence, Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we also lift up to you, oh God, Lord, Mga churches, oh God. Yes. Salamat, Holy Spirit, for sustaining the church, oh yes, God. Lord. Salamat, Lord, for the fire, oh God, yes. even for your spirit, oh God, yes, empowering Lord. each churches, oh God. Salamat, Lord, that we declare that we are unstoppable. We will continue, oh God, to be used by you, oh yes. God. We will continue to obey you, oh God. Yes. Lord, no matter. Lord God, in whatever circumstance, oh God, whatever situations, oh yes. God, Lord, we will continue, oh God, Lord, to be to reach out more people, yes, oh God, Lord. to win souls and make disciples, oh God. Yes, Lord, thank yes. you for being our hope, oh God, in this time, oh God. Salamat, Lord, even God, for supplying strength, oh God, yes. and provision, yes. oh God. Lord, dapat na, oh God, Lord, ang kagana, oh God, Lord, na mas mo, mas mo das-das, mas mo arakada, oh God, yes. o mag, mas magpagamit pa nila kanimo, oh God. Lord, even Father, we are also lifting up to you, oh God, Lord, ang mga online services, oh God. Yes. Lord, we thank you for this platform, oh God. Yes, we thank you, oh God, for every people behind this, oh God. Salamat, Lord, that with this kind, oh God, Lord, of oh, services oh god that we can win more people yes, oh god yes, back yes. to you holy yes, spirit lord. salamat lord god sila tanan na minaw karun oh god lord everyone that will be reached out in online services oh god lord will have a receptive heart oh god yes, lord they will respond to your calling oh god they will respond oh god to your will in their lives oh god thank you holy spirit lord that you will also continue to Give strength, oh God, yes. and creative ideas, oh God, to everyone, oh God, Lord, na naga, naga pamuhat ani, Father. Yes. Salamat, Lord. We thank you and we honor you, oh God, Father. We continue, God, Lord, to declare that we are nothing without you, and yes. we can do nothing without you. Continue, oh God, to move, to be with us, oh God, and to move in us, oh God. Continue to be increased, oh God, in each of us, Father. Thank you, Lord. We bless your name, Holy Spirit. Yes. We Jesus want you more. We need you more, oh God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let us now get our pens, notebooks, and our hearts ready as we receive the ministry of God's Word from the Senior Pastor of Mohangin Community Church, Pastor Rufino Rafi Lagat. Again, mga kaigsonan, maing buntag. Inaot nga na mo sa maing panglawas, no? Salamat sa mga kaigsonan, sa lain-lain lugar. We have some people who are uh, joining with us from Japan. So, Jimmy Maste, inaot nga na mo sa maing panglawas po diha. Nandiyan kayo sa mabuting kalagayan at uh, si Lord ay patuloy na uh, pupuspos ng mga biyaya sa inyong buhay. Praise God, no? <clears throat> Kahit saan tayong dako ng mundo, uh, the same lang si Lord, no? Hindi siya nagkukulang, palagi niya tayong uh, pala. At uh, siyempre naman, talagang gustong-gusto ni Lord na gamitin yung ating mga buhay 
upang maging kasangkapan niya kung saan man tayo nakatira, ano man yung ating mga kinalalagyan, yung ating mga ginagawa o kaya yung mga trabaho. Kung saan man tayo at ano man tayo, lahat tayo ay gustong gamitin ni Lord, mga kapatid. Yung ating pagsamba at paglingkod kay Lord ay 24 hours every day yun. Hindi yun tuwing linggo lamang. <laughs> Amen. Wala tayong kawala kay Lord kasi naninirahan siya sa ating mga buhay, sa ating katawan. Itong ating abang katawan ay ginawa niyang kanyang templo, kanyang tirahan. Hindi tayo ang nag-decide dito, siya mismo ang nag-decide. Kaya kung saan man tayo napunta, ano ang dahilan at napunta tayo sa ating naroroonan, gusto pa rin tayong gamitin ni Lord. Kahit kung minsan ang tingin natin sa ating sarili ay hindi tayo kalugod-lugod sa Kanya, hindi tayo karapat-dapat, ngunit mga kapatid, ganun pa man. Yung desisyon ni Lord ay hindi nagbabago, hindi na magbabago. Gustong gamitin ni Lord yung ating mga buhay. Kaya nga sa patuloy nating pag-aral sa mga sulat ni Apostle Paul doon sa mga Kristiyano sa Corinth, marami tayong natutunan. No? Isa sa mga pinakamalaki, pinakamabigat na revelation na natanggap ni Paul at ibinahagi niya sa mga kapatid sa Corinth ay yung mabasa natin sa chapter 6 verse 19 at saka 20. Hindi nyo ba alam na ang inyong katawan ay nagiging templo ng banal na espiritu na inyong natanggap mula sa Kanya? Hindi na kayong may-ari ng inyong buhay. <laughs> Mahal ang Kanyang pagbili sa inyo. Kaya luwaltiin na ninyo ang Diyos sa pamamagitan ng inyong buhay. Yun, ang ating katawan ay nagiging templo. Tirahan ng espiritu ng Diyos. Dito siya nakatira kung saan tayo pumupunta araw-araw, kasama natin siya. Kaya sabi nila, pugi daw, presence of God inside. Kasi yung Holy Spirit ay nandito. Kaya lamang maraming bisis, nakakalimot tayo. Kaya yun, pag nakalimot tayo kung ano-ano ang ating ginagawa, kung ano ang ating mga sinasabi, wala na sa lugar kung minsan. Kasi nakakalimot tayo. Kaya nga dapat, mayroong uh, palaging you know, mga pagpaala, paala-ala mula kay Lord at sa kanya mga lingkod. Kaya nandirito na naman tayo upang uh, patuloy na mag-aral, matuto, upang yung ating paglilingkod kay Lord ay magiging kalugod-lugod sa kanya, magiging mabunga, hindi tayo nagsasayang ng oras, ng panahon, kundi may resulta yung ating paglingkod sa Kanya. Ano yung expected na result? Tayo ay magiging fully equipped, thoroughly equipped, ready for every good work. At nang sa ganun, mayroong mga maraming tao, mga mahal natin sa buhay, mga kakilala o kasama sa tabaw na mahikayat natin na sila din ay Magbalik na kay Lord, balik loob kay Lord, maglingkod sa Kanya, susunod sa Kanya. Hindi naman talaga kilos natin yun. Kilos ng banal na espiritu yun, ginagamit lang niya yung ating mga abang buhay. Kaya patuloy tayo mag-aral ngayon. Mga kapatid, let's go to chapter 14. But we pray first. Salamat Lord, maraming salamat. Father, thank you very much for this wonderful time again. We can read your word, be taught be rebuked, be corrected, be trained, be equipped, so that we be totally equipped, O oh Lord, ready for every good work, ready to become uh, useful in the hands of the uh, Holy Spirit, who is the Lord of the harvest, because He's the one who knows exactly the needs of the people around, and is the one who will determine and distribute the gifts, and people will partake of them and be drawn near. To God, to His Son, Jesus. Bless us all today. In Jesus' name. Amen. So is first, we learned last Sunday about the chapter of love. And the chapter is the, uh, the, the, the love is the basis. No? Love is the basis, the foundation of our service and our ministry. Although there are the gifts made available unto us, but these gifts 
you know, as the Spirit would use us, uh, we should be full of love, you know, and, and compassion, and we serve because love is the driving force behind our service. It's never personal agenda. It's never because we want to build a name. It's never because, you know, we have other ulterior motives. No, it should be love. I made mention that we can never last serving in the service of the Lord without love sustaining us. It should be love because love never fails. As we proceed today in chapter 14, verse 1, the apostle says in verse 1, follow the way of love. Follow the way of love. He was referring to the previous chapter that he was uh, talking about, uh, about love. We should follow that way. The way of Jesus is the way of love. Hallelujah. And serving the Lord is walking in that way. Walking with God is walking in the love of God. We follow that way every day until the last breath of our life. But that's not the only one thing that Paul is talking about in the verse. He says, and eagerly desire his spiritual gifts. Can you notice the word and? He did not give us the option to choose because we can sometimes we will say, I'll just choose love. For me, the most important is love, so I don't need the gifts anymore, especially because they bring a lot of confusion and conflict, you know, among believers. So I'd rather have love, you know. But they were, we're not given the choice. In fact, the encouragement is as we follow the way of love, we are to eagerly desire a spiritual gifts hallelujah amen those spiritual gifts already mentioned in first corinthians 12 at least nine of those then he repeated it in chapter 12 towards the end including administration and help and the other stuff there which can contribute in the building of the church of the lord jesus christ when the holy spirit chooses to use and dispenses and distributes these gifts to the people around using our life, then it can help build the body of Jesus Christ. It can help strengthen the body of Jesus Christ. And when the body of Jesus Christ is strong in a given locality, that locality will be the beneficiary of the service and the ministry of the body of Jesus Christ. So remember, we're not given the choice which of these two we will, you know, partake to ourselves. We are ordered to follow the way of love, and to eagerly desire his spiritual gifts. Amen. I hope that that, will be, that is very clear to all of us. So while we are desiring spiritual gifts, let's continue to walk in the way of love. While we are walking in the way of love, let's continue to desire eagerly his spiritual gifts and be good, be adept, you know, in, in the uh, dispensing them as the Spirit would inspire us and lead us. Now, he puts a special emphasis here in this chapter on two things, especially the gift of prophecy, and then later on, he contrasts it with the gift of tongues. So for the first several verses here, it talks about prophecy, the gift of prophecy, and then the gift of tongues. For anyone who speaks in a tongue does not speak to men, but to God. Indeed, no one understands him. He utters mysteries with his spirit. So when a person speaks in tongues, you know, he is speaking unto God, not to men. People will not understand him. That is why there is a need for an interpreter so that what he was speaking in tongues may be translated or interpreted and the people around will hear and will receive benefit. And Paul's instruction, if there is no interpreter, the person who is speaking in tongues must stop or must be stopped. He can continue speaking in himself and unto God if he wishes, you know, but should not become a disturbance, especially when it's happening in the congregation, inside a meeting of the people of God. So it's very clear that Paul was not prohibiting the use of tongues. He was regulating the use of tongues. Please understand that so that it will help you realize how important it is. No? It's not prohibition, it is regulation, my dear brothers and sisters. And then, uh, he, anyone who speaks in a tongue does not speak to men, but to God. Indeed, no one understands him. He utters mysteries with his spirit. But everyone who prophesies speaks to men for their strengthening, 
encouragement, and comfort. Here are three main uh, objectives of prophecy. It is to strengthen, to encourage, and to comfort the people of God. Why strengthen? Why encourage? Why comfort? Why? Because the people of God has an assignment to fulfill. They are the church of God. Hallelujah. They are the body of Jesus Christ in the community and they are the ones that God will use to reach out to the world. And the world is not inclined towards the Lord. The world is not inclined and sympathetic to the gospel. They are resistant to the gospel. You know, they do not like the gospel. The gospel is an offense to most of the people of the world. That is why they will persecute. That is why they will malign. They will speak all kinds of bad words against the word, against the gospel. And for that reason, you need the Holy Spirit to bring strength and encouragement and comfort to you <laughs> as you try to reach out to, you know, deliver the message that you have uh, received from the Lord. So, the basic reason why there is a prophecy is to strengthen, encourage, and comfort. Verse number four. Uh, this is actually a difference. There is a difference between Old Testament prophecy and the New Testament prophecy. Here, the basic reason why prophecy is given is to strengthen, encourage, and comfort uh, the people of God. Yeah. Uh, in praise, praise his name. He who speaks in a tongue edifies himself, but he who prophesies edifies the church. But there is a correlation between himself and the church because yourself, you are the individual that comprises the whole church. And when you are strong, you are edified, then the church is edified. <laughs> Kaya lang, uh, it's, it, the, the emphasis is on the church so that it should not become selfish. Because the tendency is when the emphasis is on self, then, you know, the inclination is towards self. This disastrous ang result niya for the body of Jesus Christ. But Paul was not saying, you know, you should not speak in tongues because it only edifies yourself. You better prophesy because prophecy edifies the church. That's what he is saying. It's the, what I'm trying to say is both are important. That's why we need to use them properly. When I am edified because I pray a lot and I pray in tongues and praying in tongues edifies me, then I can contribute in the edification of the whole church. That's what it means. You know, just like when we say the family is the basic unit of society. What does that mean? It means that when every family is weak, then the whole society is weak. You see? So when Christians are weak, when the individual Christians, then the whole church is weak. So what, what do we need to do to strengthen the whole church, then teach everyone to pray. Not only pray in the ordinary language, but also pray in the spirit or pray in time. That is why Paul later on says here in chapter 14, if we want to jump to verse uh, 14, chapter 14, verse 14, For if I pray in a tongue, my spirit prays, but my mind is unfruitful. So what shall I do? I will pray with my spirit, but I will also pray with my mind. I will sing with my spirit, but I will also sing with my mind. You see? Huh? If you are praising God with your spirit, how can you find himself, one who finds himself among those? So he was using this as a, as a reason. Then in verse 18, he says, I thank God that I speak in tongues more than all of you. But in the church, I would rather speak five intelligible words to instruct them, to instruct others than 10,000 words in tongue. Ngingon ni Apostle Paul din, gamitod siya properly ang tongues. Kung mag-tongues ka, dapat na i-interpreter when it is in the public. No, when it is in the public and you have a message in tongue, dapat na i-interpreter. Pag wala interpreter, maghilong ka, you can continue to print tongue na ikaw lang. Pag ikaw lang, kamo lang duha ni Lord, walay interpreter nga kinanglan no, na siya. Ang prophecy ang gusto niya because ang prophecy is very beneficial sa whole body and especially pag na ay bisita. So, gimpasize na niya but he is not telling us nga dili na nato gamito ng tang. Gamito na to sa tamang nga paagi nga dili makakos o kagubot o kaguliang sa mga katawahan sa ginoo. Oh, hmm, kanang bot niya ipasabot. 
Da? So, mauna siya, from uh, chapter 14, verses 1, paingon sa verse 25, puli-puli, Paul, uh, uh, you know, uh, discusses prophecy and tongues and tongues and prophecy in the right way of using, you know, who is the primary benefit beneficiary when speaking in tongue, ang person nga nag-speak, if there is no interpreter. But if there is an interpreter, everyone will also benefit very much like a prophecy. But prophecy is preferred because masabta naman siya daan. No need for interpretation. Masabta na siya and it will bring strength and education and comfort for the people of God. Let me go direct to verse 26 now you know, for this lesson. Verse 26 is a very important verse. We'll be learning some very important reminders and lessons from this. What then shall we say, brothers? What then shall we say, brothers? When you come together, everyone has a hymn or a word of instruction, a revelation or an interpretation, a tongue or an interpretation. All of this must be done for the strengthening of the church. First, let us uh, pause for a moment and ask, what does it mean when you come together? What Paul was thinking or what was in his heart when he says, when you come together? It means the gathering of God's people. Sometimes we use this, we use the word service. When you come together for service, you know, or worship, when you come together to worship. So here are some questions, no? About Ani. When you come together, meaning, ang question there is, where is this happening? Where they, where, where, where do they come together? Asa sila nagtapok? When you come together, pag nagtapok mo, no? pag kayo ay nagtitipon, ah, bawat isa ay may him, no, my word of instruction, revelation, say. But ang tanong, saan ito nangyayari? Ah, ang sagot dyan ay in most cases sa bahay. Kasi ang Christianity mula sa panahon ni Jesus, especially from uh, start of Pentecost, Acts chapter 2, the whole of book of Acts, you know, up to 313 AD according to church history. The Christians only gathered in their homes and some other places, not in church buildings. Wala pang church building nung araw. They, the Christians started using church buildings since 313 AD during the time of Emperor Constantine. Uh -huh. So ito nangyayari, itong come together nangyayari sa mga bahay-bahay. So, Understandably, ito ay maliit na pagtitipon. Siguro dalawa o tatlong pamilya lamang. Maximum siguro mga uh, labing limang tao lamang. No? Fifteen and below. Hindi na maghigit pa dyan. O bihira or sildam lang maghigit sa fifteen pataas. But usually ganyan lang ang palaki. Ngunit mabilis ang paglago. Mabilis ang pagdami ng mga pagtitipon na ito. Pero wala silang pagtitipo ng malakihan gaya ng ginagawa natin ngayong ah, ngayong panahon. Every Sunday, nandoon tayo sa ating church building, maka-occupy ng 500, 1,000, 3,000, some gatherings, 15, 30,000. Every week yan, malaki yan. Hindi yun ang tinutukoy. Walang ganun sa panahon ng New Testament, mga kapatid. Yung kanilang pagtitipon, every time magtipon sila, sa mga maliliit lang yun na pagtitipon sa mga bahay-bahay. Doon sa Hebrews 10.25, we remember the verse wherein the writer says, uh, Do not forget the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is, uh, but encouraging one another so much the more as we see the day approaching. Huwag niyong kalimutan yung ating pagtitipon. Huwag kayong uminto sa pagdalo gaya ng ginagawa ng iba. Uh, ibig sabihin, keep on attending this gathering. Pero ito yung small gathering na nangyayari sa mga bahay-bahay, hindi sa malakihan, in order to primarily encourage one another while we are waiting for the return of the Lord. Uh -oh. So dito, back in uh, 1 Corinthians 14, 26, no? saan ito nangyayari? Sa bahay. 
Ano kalaki ito? Mga 15 ang maximum. Very seldom na abot ng 20 or 30 kasi maliliit ang mga bahay nila usually nung araw. At alam naman natin, sila ay persecuted nung araw. Intense yung persecution. Hindi sila pwede magtipon ng malakihan. How often ito nangyayari? Most likely at least once a week, gaya ng atin ng na intindihan na at least once a week the people of God would take a day of rest you know for every seven days mayroong isang araw na itinalaga para magpahinga so ginagamit nila itong araw na ito para mag meet together you no know, at least once a week anong araw yon there is no specific day mga kapatid ah uh, there is no specific day pwedeng monday pwedeng tuesday pwedeng uh, ibang araw basta at least at least once once a week, mayroong pagtitipon at magdalo dapat yung mga kristyano. How important is this meeting? Ang sabi dito, when you come together, everyone, say, they say that word everyone, ang bawat isa sa inyo, everyone, everyone has a hymn or a word. Kaya nga iniisip natin na ito ay maliitan na pagtitipon, hindi malakihan dahil sa word na everyone. Ang word na everyone nagbigay sa atin ng key na ma very important mga pat especially for us BCC people na patuloy yung ating transition dahil gusto natin na kung maaari maibalik doon sa original na pattern ni Lord no. Ma-emphasize natin yung large gatherings, mas ma-emphasize natin yung small na gathering kasi ano ka beneficial yung small na gathering compare sa large na gathering especially in terms of equipping and building the people of God. Kagaya nito yung sabi niya everyone. Everyone meaning to say lahat ng mga dumadalo ay expected na mag-contribute ng something para sa ika-encourage ng mga nagdalo. Kung sa pagkain ba parang patlak ba? Lahat ng nanga, lahat ng pumupunta may kanya-kanyang dalang pagkain. Then i-share natin, 'di ba? Ganun 'yun nangyayari sa patlak, 'di ba? Walang magutom kasi lahat ay nagdala. Hindi yung isa lang ang magdala tapos lahat tayo punta, kain ang kain. Okay lang yung kung isang bisis lang isang taon. Pero pag linggo-linggo lang, isang tao lang ang maghanda ng pagkain tapos maramihan tayong pumupunta, walang magsurvive. <laughs> Patay siya. Bankrupt siya. You see? Kaya the point is when everyone comes together, everyone comes to contribute. Everyone comes to Give something to serve something for the benefit of everyone attending, so that I encourage you with what I bring to the meeting. You will encourage me with what you brought to the meeting. Ganon yon. Libawa, mayroon ka yung awit o kaya mayroon prophecy o mayroon word of instruction. Mayroon na mga isa may message intang. Lahat lo yon makakencourage one another. At sa ka ang isa pa talaga ng maganda doon. Lahat makaparticipate, makapractice. You see. Pag large meeting, hindi pwede. Oh, kung dako ang tigob, 300, 500 katao, dili pwede. Kaya bisag everyone pa na idala, dili niya ma-share. Kaya saan niyo pag-share, mabuntagan na mo. Ah, abutan kayo na madaling araw o kinabukasan. Baka next, next afternoon pa kayo matapos. If everyone will share kung 300 or 500 or 1,000 katao ang nandoon sa meeting. Kaya very easy to understand na ito ay, you know, Small gathering, 15 below. No, an ideal gathering where upon everyone can really contribute and minister and practice. You know, and start building their life, being equipped because they learn to speak. They will just learn to stand up before the public. They learn to sing. Parang ganon. Everyone is contributing. Can you say the word contributor? That's a good word. Rather than consumer, ang nanyara yare pag large gathering ay yun ang ating Inabigyan ng importansya yung large gathering. Kagaya ngayon, yung ating mga meeting tuwing linggo, malakihan, di ba? 50, 100, 300, 500. Pag ganyan ang nangyayari, ang inevitable na result niya ay majority sa mga dumadalo magiging consumers lamang. Hindi sila makakontribute. Maliban sa kanyang presensya, siyempre nandoon siya plus kunting pera. Yun, hanggang doon lang. Pero contribution na maka Prophecy, hindi pwede kasi you know, wala sa program o hindi na pwede isali. Ibig sabihin, mayroong sadly isa, 
Magsabi siya, eh, mayroon ako inspiration. Gusto ko mag-contribute. May awit ako. May natanggap ako kay Lord. 300 people, 500 katao. Hindi pwede yun kasi magiging magulo. ba? Diba? Kaya talagang appropriate siya pag nasa small gathering, mga kapatid. Remember, you are expected by the Lord to contribute something whenever you attend a gathering of God's people. Uh, ang reason yan so that God, the Holy Spirit, can start using your life to encourage and comfort and edify and bless the people of God. In like manner, yung iba naman na dumadalo doon, they will also contribute something and they will bring encouragement and blessing to your own life. There ought to be a mutual ministering and serving of one another in such a meeting. Sa malaki ang meeting, hindi nangyayari yan. Kaya, as you can see, lahat ng mga dumadalo, those people who are attending large gathering for many years, nag-a-attend na nag-a-attend yan, walang nangyayari sa mga Christian ng buhay nila. Ganon pa rin sila, consumer pa rin. 25 years na yan, na dumadalo, consumer pa rin yan. Pag sabihin mo, ikaw ang mag-pray next Sunday sa opening prayer, natatakot pa yan. 25 years na yan, na dumadalo. Kasi there was no opportunity to practice in the large meeting. But the small meeting has very important benefits, mga kapatid. So, all of this should be done uh, to strengthen the church. All of this must be done for the strengthening of the church. The church is the people of God, not the building. The church is the people of God and the church is the body of Jesus Christ. And being the body of Jesus Christ and the temple of the Holy Spirit, the church is the instrument of God to bring blessing to the world. Yan mga kapatid. Kaya kailangan niya malakas kasi paano siya makaserve sa world? Paano niya mapaglingkuran ang mundo? Paano niya maservis, maserve ang mundo kung siya ay mahina? Ah, yeah. wala siyang lakas. You see, kailangan niyang maging malakas kasi ang laki ng assignment na ipinato ni Lord sa kanyang buhay. Therefore, my dear brothers, sabi ni Paul, we need to be strong to preach the gospel, to win souls. And make disciples. Ito yung assignment ni Lord sa church way back in Matthew 28, verse 19 and 20. Ang tawag nila dito, Great Commission. Great Commission is to preach the gospel, to win soul, make them disciples. Yun ang Great Commission. At ito ay ibinigay ni Lord sa lahat ng mga mananampalataya, babae, lalaki, matanda, o bata, may grado, may pinag-aralan, o walang pinag-aralan, may pera, o walang pera. Basta church ka, believer ka, disciple ka ni Lord, kasali ka sa assignment na ito, kailangan mong maging malakas. Hallelujah! Kailangan mo yung magiging marunong ka, hindi ka ignorante sa mga gifts at higit sa lahat. Kailangan mo na yung puso ay puno ng pagmamahal, pag-ibig ni Lord. Dahil yun ang basis at foundation ng paglilingkod kay Lord. Diyan kayo dapat lumalakad. Ah, sa daan na yan. Daan ang pag-ibig. Kaya follow the way of love. Praise God. Amen? Da? Kaya sabi ni Apostle Paul, therefore, my brothers, last ng sabi niya sa verse 39, no? 1 Corinthians 14, verse 39, sabi niya, therefore, my brothers, be eager to prophesy and do not forbid speaking in tongues. Again, sinabi natin, wala tayong option, no? Hindi niya tayo binibigyan ng opsyon na ito lang at huwag na lang yan, ito na lang. Hindi ganon. Kasama yan. Tawag nila dito, the wisdom of the end or the genius of the end. <laughs> Sa isang aklat na sinulat ni Jim Collins, mayroong chapter doon, the genius of the end. Ah, hindi huwag nating pag-awayin yung mga gifts. Huwag nating pag-awayin yung gift at saka yung pag-ibig para bang pinagpipili tayo ni Lord kung saan tayo O, saan ang gusto natin? Ano ang gusto natin? Pag-ibig ba? O mag Hindi. Lahat yan importante, mga kapatid. Oo. Huwag yung pag-awayan. Nasa, nasa aklat. Nasa dito man yan. So, sundin natin. My brothers, be eager to prophesy and do not forget forbid speaking in tongues. Hanggang kailan yan, mga kapatid? Ang nalaman natin, natutunan natin sa chapter 13, hanggang sa pagbalik ni Jesus Christ. Yung tinutukoy na when perfection shall come. Yon Ibig sabihin doon, pagdating ni Jesus, i-establish na yung fullness of His kingdom. At yung ating katawan ay palitan na 
Mula sa katawan na mamatay, bibigyan tayo ng katawan na hindi na mamatay. Sa katawag doon, glorified body. Yung ating karunungan ay hindi na half-half, hindi na one-third lang. Full na yung ating karunungan. Wala ng mga question pa. Lahat ng mga question natin ay mayroon na, na, ano na answer na, clear na tayo sa lahat ng isyo. Dahil ang pinakakaro, wisdom of the Lord now is upon us. The fullness of the kingdom is now upon us and we are part of it. You know, yon fullness of fullness na wala ng question. Kaya yung mga gifts, isang tabi na yon Habang wala pa ang panahon na iyon, nandirito pa yung mga gifts. Available pa sa may gusto lang. Hindi naman ito pinipilit ni Lord. Kaya binibigyan niya tayo ng pagkataon na mag-desire. No? Hini-encourage tayo na i-desire mo. You know, eager ka. Dapat hinahanap mo. Dapat kina, you know, g- 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 reach out mo. Gusto mong angkinin, hinihingi mo mula kay Lord. Yan. Di ba? So mga kapatid, mga igso on, no? Busy si people kay kamo man ang primary nga target yun nato no. Naga tudlo ta ani ginapasa ginatun-an nato ni kay gina-encourage nato ang kada usa no. Nya may tungod sa mga gasa, pangayuan ninyo. Magampo mo kanang over anang synchronized prayer nato o sa ka-item ana sa kabii sa ato pagampo. Lord nga mo mga gasa Ginoo ma-activate din sa akong ginabuhi Holy Spirit na ang kanang puyo diri nga ikaw O Lord maghatag ka na akong awareness consciousness no understanding nga kanang kanabang uh, permi ko kanang abtik ba maniid sa imo ang gusto buhaton ba and then mutuman dayon ko di ko mahadlok no mutuo ko musalig ko mulaon ko kay dili man ako ang maka benefit ani dili man ako lang mga tao sa palibot na ako maka benefit sila pag i-distribute ni mo, i-dispense ni mo ang mga gasa. Gusto ni mo i-dispense, pero wala makai instrument kay instrument ni mo, nagtulog-tulog man, nag iya man. Luoy kayo sila. Lord. So, alhin mo akong abtik. Mao na, dapat ang prayer sa kada believer. no? So, as you are watching now, listening to me, palihog in town, pag, pag ligon mo, pag abtik mo ba, kaya ang kalibutan, naghulat lagi. Naghulat sa inyong panirbisyo, naghulat sa inyong ministry. Kung saan ninyo pag-serve, kung mga huyang mo, eh, sige lang mo katulog sa inyong Christian life. Kung saan mo pag, kung saan ninyo pag-serve, kung nagpabilin mong mga bata, dili, wala mo ni hamtong. Hmm. Nagpabilin mong mga bata, diya sa pag-alagad kay Lord. No? Ang tudron, humitan niya po mo, lugaw, gatas niya po ninyo ang inapangita. Dapat nagatuo na mo ang mga porsyon sa pulo ng karne na. Di ba? Para mo, ligo na yun mo ang magamit ang inyong kinabuhi. Remember, the whole idea why Paul was teaching them these truths, he put them into writing. When Paul received all this understanding from the Holy Spirit, by way of revelation, he really wrote them so that the people of God not only in Corinth, but the rest of the believers down the road after the centuries will receive understanding. That's why sinasabi ni Paul last time, I do not want you to be ignorant about the gifts of the Spirit. I want you to learn them, to know them, to embrace them, to long for them, to eagerly desire them. But I am teaching you to walk in love as you desire for the gifts. So that you will not become proud, arrogant, you will not become envious. Don't forget. Mga importante ito, mga tinuturo ni Apostle Paul, mga kapatid. Dami naman kasi nating alam, no? mga kristyano, mga brothers, mga lingkod ni Lord, na nakalimot sila. Yung ibang, ganda ng simula nila sa paglingkod nila kay Lord. Kaya lamang, along the way, nasira yung buhay nila. You know, nahulog sila sa bitag ng jablo. No? Sa pamamagitan ng pera, ang minsan naman sa pamamagitan ng mga babae, yung iba naman sa pamamagitan ng pagiging proud, yun, nasira yung buhay nila. Sayang. No? Ang ganda pa naman ng kanilang simula. Kaya lang yung simula, hindi yun ang end. Hindi pa yun ang the end. Mahaba pa mga kapatid ang daan. Kaya bawat step ng isang kristyano ng mananampalataya ni Lord ay carefully taken, mga kapatid. Uh, always, dinaremind tayo na magkaroon ng Espiritu na humble before God. Amen. 
Kaya tayo palaging nagsasamba kay Lord. Araw-araw, gabi-gabi, saan man tayo, nakikiusap tayo sa Kanya. Nakikipag-usap tayo sa Kanya. Tawag dyan ay prayer. Kasi sa, habang tayo ay nakikipag-usap, siya mismo ang mag-remind sa atin. No? Takahipuin niya yung ating mga puso, palambutin niya kasi kung minsan tumitigas. Yan. Lalo na pag mayroon na tayo mga malalaking achievements or accomplishment kung minsan yung hangin. You know? Pumapasok sa ating ulo, sa ating utap, lumalaki yung ating utak, akala natin tayo na si so and so. Yan. Makita natin yan nangyayari. Nakakalungkot, kaya lamang kailang, kaya dapat ay nga, mag-ingat at patuloy na maglakad sa daan ng pag -ibig. Follow the way of love. Hallelujah. Amen. Love is never jealous. Love is never proud. Love is never arrogant. Love is always trusting, always hoping, always believing. Love is patient. Love is kind. Yon. Kaya pag na medyo na kita mo na parang kulang na yung inyong kindness, yon. Panahon na na mag uh, hanap ng corner of your room, corner of the house, and cry out before God. God, ano na ba itong nangyayari sa akin? Yon. Sorry, O oh Lord. Panahon na upang magbasa, upang mag-soak in the presence of God. Hallelujah. Mga kapatid, bawat isa sa inyo ay potential na instrument. Mighty and powerful, fruitful, effective and productive instrument in the hands of God. Saan man kayo, dako na roon. Hallelujah. Understand na ang, saan kayo ngayon, dinala kayo ni Lord John. Ginamit lang niya ang work opportunity kung bakit napunta kayo dyan. Dinapit, ginamit lang ni Lord yung pag-asawa ninyo at yung asawa niyo ay nakatira dyan. So, dinala kayo ng kanyang, ng inyong asawa dyan. Ginamit lang yun ni Lord. Dahil may sadya siya at may gusto kang mangyari sa buhay mo habang nandyan kayo. Ikaw ay gustong gamitin ni Lord upang, hallelujah, ma-extend yung kanyang kaharian. Marami pa sa mga mahal mo sa buhay, mga kakilala mo. Marami pa ang mga uh, ibang tao na matagal nang naghahanap kay Lord. Kaya lang hindi nila matagpuan kasi hindi alam, alam pa. No? Naghihintay pa sila ng lingkod ni Lord, ng agent ni Lord upang sila ay makabalik kay Lord. Kung ikaw man ay nanlamig, no? kung ano man ng dahilan ng inyong paglalamig, Panahon na itong isipin mo ng pag-ibig ni Lord ay napakalaki at nakapatibay. Ah, walang katapusan yung kanyang pag-ibig. Ayaw panluod. Manluod ka sa laing tao, ayaw i-appeal si Lord. Ayaw i-appeal ang iyong ministry. No. Ganina, nasangpit naman ito na ako. Kasagara na ito, wala mang yun tayo lalis kay Lord sa tao man ito makakitag lalis. Ano man na. Kaya lang sa immature pamanggod ta, i-appeal na to si Lord sa atong pangluod. Pero wabi agay labot si Lord. <laughs> Di ba? Hmm. So karon naminaw ka ani, dapat mahuwasan na ka. Tama na nang imong kabugnaw, kalaay, kakapoy. Tama na na, balik na. Tinunan na si Lord kasi we have only this one single life as an opportunity to serve Him and to learn everything that He wants us to teach. He wants to teach us. He wants us to learn. Because this is not the only life. I mentioned this earlier in one of our lessons from Corinthian, Paul's letter to Corinth. This is not the only life that we have in serving God. We have a life after this life. Eternal life. We will be serving the Lord. We will be representing the Lord. Uh, sabi, ni, sabi, ni, sabi ni Apostle Paul, do you not know that you will judge angels? Do you not know that you will judge the world? Yon preparation natin ito, mga kapatid. Kaya kailangan patul tayo maglakad dyan sa pag-ibig, daan ng pag-ibig, daan ng Lord, patuloy tayo maglingkod sa Kanya, magpagamit sa Kanya. I we trust the Lord will continue to bless you and me wherever you are. And I pray na kung mayroon mga mga karamdaman sa physical na buhay, the Lord will bring, you know, 
uh, deliverance, you know, I pray every night, I pray, God deliver your people, give them a personal encounter with you in this aspect, in this area of their life, heal them, O oh Lord, so they can stand up and testify that you are the God of heals. Many others, Lord, will experience healing, and they will know the God of heaven and earth is the same God. That doesn't change. Father, thank you for today. Thank you for your love, but thank you also for your gifts. That we will all grow, Lord, not only in the way of love, but also, Lord, grow in our understanding of the gifts, tongues, prophecy, and other gifts, O oh Lord. And that be driven by love, O oh Lord, as we desire to be used by the Spirit in dispensing these gifts to the world that is waiting. Hallelujah. Father, thank you. I pray that in our meetings, in our small gatherings, O oh Lord, your presence will be there as you promised. And all your people, Lord God, will learn to contribute whatever you have put in their heart for the good of everyone, for the encouragement of everyone, for the strengthening. Hallelujah. And for the comfort of everyone. Lord, that everyone will contribute, O oh Lord. Not everyone, Lord God. Hallelujah. I pray that not everyone, I pray that no one will be afraid. I pray that no one will be overcome by shyness, Lord God, or timidity. You have not given us a spirit of timidity. You gave us love. You gave us power. You give us sound mind. So that everyone will have the opportunity to really grow, become mature and useful in your hands. Salamat, O Lord. The light gunang imong alan. I pray for healing, deliverance of sickness and disease, O Lord. I pray for miracles and signs and wonders, O God. That's the prayer that the apostles prayed, O Lord, in the book of Acts. They cried out to you that you may stand, extend your mighty hand to heal and to deliver, O Lord. That the people may know there is a God in heaven. Hallelujah. Who cares for them and loves them. Bless us all today, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much, Pastor Rafi. So today, in, uh, as you have heard and received the word of God, in 1 Corinthians 14, um, two important things are highlighted. First is that we need to follow the way of love, the way of Jesus Christ, and love must be our highest goal. The second one is we need to eagerly desire for the spiritual gifts. And these spiritual gifts that are um, given by the Holy Spirit are not meant for our personal consumption. They have to be used you know, to help and strengthen and encourage, comfort one another. Verse 26 emphasizes that everything we do should be used to build up and strengthen one another, especially when we come together. And of course, um, the the gifts that are that have been mentioned are the gifts of prophecy and speaking in tongues. They, these things have to be used um, to be used properly with the right heart, the right motive, and the right intention. Also, um, Pastor Rafi reminded us that we must continually, of, reminded us through the word of the Lord that we must continually um, meet together because um, fellowshipping with with our fellow believers. Um, is really an essential thing and even if um, we cannot do that physically some of us cannot do that physically but for those of us who can who can do that um, let's continue doing that no magtapo and it doesn't have to be in a very nice place um, what's important is um, our hearts are are ready our hearts are okay and then the Lord the presence of the Lord is there so remember fellowship is essential to our spiritual growth Another thing is that as the body of Christ, we have a God-given assignment to proclaim His Word in our local communities and um, at the same time throughout the nations of the world, right? So that's the Great Commission. So in order for us to do that, we need to be um, strong spiritually and we need to be equipped with the things that we, we need to do to, to spread the Word of the Lord. Again, two things, follow the way of love, the way of Jesus Christ and eagerly desire the spiritual gifts. When we follow the Lord, at the same time, we need to um, desire the gifts that uh, the Holy Spirit can freely give to us. At the same time, when we desire those gifts, we need to keep following the Lord. And that is why we need to keep walking 
with the Lord. Amen? So God bless everyone and have a fruitful weekend. How beautiful are the feet of those who bring the good news. And you can bring the good news to your friends and family by sharing your takeaways and the things that you have received from our BCC Sunday premiere for today. Do not forget to do online or face-to-face -face huddles with your life groups and house churches or satellite ministries. This has been BCC Sunday premiere and see you all again next week. BCC Online Events BCC Sunday Premiere every 9.30am BCC Kids Church Sundays at 1pm Youth Reload Online Fridays at 845 BCC Yapis Saturdays at 6.30 p.m. BCC Synchronized Prayer Daily at 8 p.m. Don't forget to follow our social media accounts. On Facebook, Buhangin Community Church, Youth Reload PH, and BCC Yappies. You can also check our Instagram accounts at BCC Devil Official, Youth Reload, and BCC Yappies. You may also follow our Twitter accounts at BCC Devil Official and Youth Reload. You can also listen to our podcast on Spotify at Luhanin Community Church and BCC Yappies. For more concerns, you may call us at 221-5344 and email us at bccvision12 at gmail.com.